I'm updating the Simple Object Designers compiler. Hey, I'm Eric, and um, this video is mainly for current users of the Simple Object Designer. And if you're not that, you might want to become one. Um, but since the very first version of Simple Object Designer, it has contained its own compiler that I built from scratch. Uh, and it was limited to be able to compile the pieces that the simple object designer could build. So if the simple object designer could build 35% of, of, of the different pieces that a uh, full fetch app could contain, then I have only built 35% of the compiler to, to support that. Uh, so whenever I wanted the simple object designer to do something new, and, and I uh, I needed to make sure that it could actually compile that. Um, and with some recent changes from Microsoft, I have decided that you know that venue is simply not cost effective anymore. Um, so I have built something new, or. Or rather, I have not built something new. Uh, I have created a way to use Microsoft's compiler instead. So the experience from an end user from you should be the same. Uh, the the long term possibilities with the simple object, object designer have step will be stepped up because now there's things that I can do that would be a major task before simply because I needed both to make sure that it were, you know, there was a UI that could do the thing that you, where you could design and then generate the code, but also in the end compile the code so it could become an app. So the last step is now no longer my headache. That is Microsoft's headache. And they have solved that anyway because they need to compile all the other apps. So let me show you something. So this is the very latest version uh, live on App Source right now. Um, and in this one, it, everything will, looks and feels the same. Everything works the same. Unless you go into the setup page and with personalization, you add this field that I have already added here, compiler to use. And you can see that there are two options here built in. That's the old one or Microsoft, that's the new one. Uh, when you switch over to Microsoft, if you want to try out the new Microsoft compiler, which will become the default compiler within, I don't know, next couple of months, um, then you will be prompted to refresh your symbols. Um, simple management is slightly different behind the scene. Uh, so in order for this one to get what it needs, you need to re-get the symbols because the simple function behind the scene has also been updated to support this. After you switch to Microsoft, everything should basically be the same with one interesting change. Um, so I have created, um, I think I have created a query here. Uh, this one probably, let's see. Where I forgot to create a link in the query. So so right now, the simple object designer should probably test for this and it will probably do that in the next version. But right now it's very convenient that it's able to generate a, an, an app with a bug in it. Um, so what happens now, say when I say publish, that the order of operations has slightly changed. Mean that all this it looks normal. We have all the, the funny messages, but super quick, we get an error message saying that, hey, there is a problem with this app. Um, in this case, the probably data item link must be set in this query. Oh, um, instead of having to wait for sending to Microsoft and all the good stuff, we get the the compiler uh, errors straight away. Um, so that's nice. 
The other nice thing is here is that what you can do is that you can go up here and say, if, if you're pretty sure that what you see here is, you know, it should work. That, that there's something weird. Uh, this is not a a you problem. This is a Hogarth problem. Then you what you can do here is that you can go and click get support information. Do you allow Hogarth.com to examine the source of this app? You can say yes. Thank you. Please use this code. And then there's a code that when you're going to Hogarth.com slash support or uh, you email support at Hogarth or what, whatever you how you reach us. If you provide this code, I'm able to take a look at the source code uh, without us having to send app files and emails and all that good stuff. So in this case, uh, let me just fix this app, this bug here, because this thing was wrong. So I'll just go field number one. No, sorry, not field number one. I'll go field number three. Yes, should be field number one here. So now there's a, a proper link in this query between customers and customer ledger entries. I can go publish. We go through the usual thing again. And um, the error is not popping up. Instead, we go straight to the deployment screen. So everything is kind of exactly what it was, but I have just done a lot of work behind the scenes to, to do this. A, um, so I would love for you to try it out. Can you break it? Uh, do you get weird where things happen? I would love for you to try this out before I turn this one over to be, a, be the default uh, version. Um, so that will be cool if you do that. One of the added benefits of using this compiler instead is that I'm going to introduce a, a way to have more cooperation between apps. Uh, now there's quite a few uh, Hogarth.com apps. And, and the first thing that's going to happen at some point is that from within the simple object designer, you can add the SharePoint functionality to anywhere in the system. Uh, so with my SharePoint connector app, it has the ability to put SharePoint functionality in a lot of places in the system, but not necessarily SharePoint onto other apps or SharePoint onto custom development and so on. But basically, there will be just a click, I need SharePoint on this page, and then SharePoint is added. Um, and, and other things related to the other Hogarth.com apps. Um, and now those kind of things are possible because of the use of the new compiler. So I'm super stoked about this. Uh, the, it looks like nothing. There's a ton of work have begun, have going on uh, behind the scenes for the last couple of months to actually make this happen. As I hope you agree, as elegant as it is. Um, so try now, and um, and and let me know if there's issues with it. With, with this, go to hogarth.com slash support and, and uh, create a question and we can uh, we can put it there. Uh, we'll work with it there, I guess. That's what we do. Uh, thanks for watching.